Nigerians under the aegis of Ebony Lawyers Forum has issued seven days ultimatum to Ayim Pius Ayim, the former Senate president, to apologize to the governor of Ebony State, David Umahi, or he will face mass legal action. The lawyers disclosed this in a communique made available to Igbere TV on Friday following allegations levied against Umahi by Senator Ahim. The lawyers noted that Umahi has the right to join any political party of his choice as enshrined in Section 40 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. Saying, according to the lawyers, that we request of Senator Ayim Pius Ayim to retract the libellous publication contained in his letter under reference, offer a written apology to our governor and the people of a born state and to give such retraction and apology the same publicity he gave to his defamatory letter within seven days from the date of his communique of this communique or be prepared to face mass legal action <laughs> okay yeah you think the man is going to be perturbed by that ho 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 is a very 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 long one hmm um, well, who is Dave Umayi that I am sure apologize to? Of course, it's the governor of Ebony State, the executive governor of Ebony State, who just defected to APC. Good, it serves him tight. All right, I never know that Pius I am is a big, uh, whatever, to this extent, to the extent is fond of fighting any government in power in Ebony State, but he will definitely learn his lessons this time around, Okay. Um, you and I are the current, uh, whatever, or the Mumu, I don't know, in Africa, former secretary to government, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are educated, illiterate, hungry lawyers. They collected money from Umayi. They forgot that Umayi is the first to collect Ayim, to call Ayim, a courtist and IPOP member. Okay. Who is Umayi in Igbo land, governor of Abakeleke? You people should be talking about some national personals. Persons of whom I am is one of them. Hungry lawyers, stomach upset can cause a lot of trouble. Many out of hunger, reasons from behind, and what they actually wrote and the things that uh, he has to do, or the things that they're accusing him of. They're uh, saying that uh, uh, this uh, whole thing is not going to just die out and like that, if not. Is going to face the music. The communique issued by the Concerned Ebony Lawyers Forum on the provocative, insultive, and inciting letters issued by our colleague, Senator Ayim Pius Ayim, against the governor of our dear state, His Excellency Engineer Dave Mweze Umahi. Conscious of the div dividends that the prevailing peace and tranquility has brought to our dear state, Ebony. Excited at the magical transformation of our dear state by the current administration led by our workaholic and visionary governor, His Excellency Engineer Dave Umayi. Conscious of the travels that our state had gone through in the past as a result of the now customized feud between Senator and Impious and with virtually every administration in our dear state, worried that the current vituperations and inciting comments. Coming from this same senator, I am pious, I am who ordinarily should be a symbol of peace in a state, could lead to crisis with its attendant human rights violations in a state. Conscious that, as the social engineers and conscience of the society, we as lawyers ought not to fold our hands and watch our state slide into anomie. We, the concerned and boy lawyers, form rising from a meeting held on fourth day of december 2020 hereby state as follows that we commend his excellency engineer dave umai for his dogged commitment towards the transformation of infrastructure and standard of living in neboin since his assumption of office in 2015 that we have taken special note of the various measures put in place by the state government to ensure that Eboyans live and go about their businesses unhindered and unmolested. That His Excellency, the Governor of our dear 
state just like any other citizen of our state has the freedom of association including the right to join any political party of his con of his choice as enshrined in section 40 of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria 1999 as amended that the exercise of that right by our governor does not warrant the calculated verbal attack and insult coming from senator I am pious I am in his now widely circulated infamous letter published on 30th November 2020. That as lawyers, we know that our governor, why he holds that office, represents the faith and image of our dear state, and in particular, every one of us, and as such, any insult, disrespect, or defamation of his character remains a slap on all our faces. That as lawyers and colleagues, we are still in search of the impact which Senator Ayim, Pius Ayim, has made in our state even after holding the highest political position in the Southeast since the advent of the nascent democracy in Nigeria. That we view the open letter written and circulated in the media by Senator Ayim, Pius Ayim as not only defamatory of our state as a whole, but as a precursor to enge engendering crisis Reminiscent of the type generated during His Excellency Senator Dr. Sam Omiyi Egu's administration, which led to unprecedented loss of lives and property in the state, that we request of Senator Ayimpayos to retract the libelous publication contained in his letter under reference, offer a written apology to our governor and the people of a boy state and to give such retraction and apology the same publicity he gave to his defamatory letter within seven days from the date of this communique or be prepared to face mass legal action that we cannot allow anybody no matter how highly placed to truncate the peace and accelerated and accelerated progress which we are currently enjoying in our state that we remain committed to enduring peace, rule of law, inviolability of human rights, and a free society anchored on mutual coexistence and signed by um this uh, uh, many of them <laughs> right? the 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 association of lawyers in that state because they believe that it is a slap on them. So that this man must apologize. If not, he will face massive legal action, which he might regret. If he does not apologize, the energy, the same energy he used in the um, uh, writing a defamatory letter, so also he use that to apologize. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. You know, this is power tussle. What are they fighting for? For themselves, not for the people.